Parade Marshal Kenton McDonald leading the horses postward for this evening's second race. The first division, third leg for two-year-old trotting Colts and Geldings in Ohio Sires. Racing a mile, a purchase of $14,550. A shortened field of 78 has been scratched sick. Number one is Gold Hunter, a basin of Tabor Lobel, owned and trained by Willard Miller of Jamestown, Ohio. Coming in from Raceway Park, his sixth lifetime start. Earnings of $2,000 off the rail. Willard Miller driving Gold Hunter. The two, a basin of speed in action, owned by the Arsena Farms of Hudson, Ohio. Steve Carter trains with a mark of 208 and 2. At Cortland, earnings of $4,800. In from Northfield, the Don Macho and Steve Carter. Number three, a son of speed in action, owned by James Blair of Dover, Ohio. Rebecca Thomas, the uh, trainer, with a mark of 202 and 4. At Raceway Park, earnings of $8,700. The three, Hinkle, with Jeff Hostetler. The four is a son of final score, owned by Barbara Turcott of the Robom Stable of Florida, Ohio. Mel Turcott, the uh, trainer, making his sixth career start with earnings of $3,500 from post four, Elvis T. and Mel Turcott. The five, a base on a first crop sire, carried the message. Owned by Thomas Six of Charlotte, North Carolina. Craig Stein, the uh, trainer, coming in from Northfield Park, earnings of $7,000. It's the five, Conch T with Joe Essig, Jr. Number six, a chestnut of Ombro Elliott, owned by John Holman of Newark. Ebert Quinn, the uh, trainer, with a mark of 203 here at Cider Downs, making his fourth career start off that winning qualifier. It's Wild Louie with Dean Collins. And from the outside, a son of Armbro Ilya, owned by Kevin Greenfield of Perrysburg, Jeff Miller, the uh, trainer, only his second career start. Come again from Raceway Park. From post seven, it's Spirit of Troy with Jeff Miller. One play show perfecta and a pick three wagering post time in eight minutes, eight minutes to post. First division, two year old trotting Colts and Gildings are on and behind the gate. They swing to the back stretch, and there they go. And uh, they're off, and it's Wild Louie from the outside uh, going uh, for the late. From off the pylons came Gold Hunter. From between horses, that's Elvis T. Off stride early is Hinkle. And from the outside uh, comes Conch T. Further outside, it's Spirit of Choi as they race into the first turn with Gold Hunter off the pylons to take the lead. Elvis T. settles in behind the leader second, followed by Wild Louie third. Then it's a gap of three lengths to Conch T. On the outside, Spirit of Choi is racing a fifth. Inside and sixth, it's the Don Macho, and after that break, Hinkle trails. At the first quarter in 30 seconds, and with the lead, it's Gold Hunter, but on the outside, Wild Louie looking to take that lead away. Elvis T on the inside is trotting at three. A spirit of Troy has been parked the entire mile, but it's gapping cover fourth. Inside and five, it's a conch T. The Don Macho is trotting at sixth, and Hinkle trails. As they move into the clubhouse turn, Wild Louie continues the lead. And Spirit of Choi now on a break as they reach the half. Gold Hunter, the garden spot trip is gapping slightly here second. At the half at one minute flat and Elvis T coming to the outside now, feeling the pressure from the back and up the rail, Conch T advancing fourth. The Don Macho flushing that cover to the outside five as they move down the back stretch with Wild Louie showing the way here by a length and a quarter. But here comes Elvis T at the leader's wheel now pressuring a second. And Gold Hunter to the inside. The Don Macho showing some trot to the outside. As near the three quarters, it's Wild Louie. A comfortable three length advantage. Three quarters in 131. Into the final turn they go. It's Wild Louie. Three to one shot here by two and a half, three. Elvis T is second. And on the outside, here comes Spirit of Troy as they turn for home. They've lost it an eighth of a mile ago. And down the stretch they come. Wild Louie by three. Elvis T is chasing a second. Conch T to the outside. And the Don Macho is trotting forth into deep stretch. Wild Louie coasting home here. Finishing a second. It's Elvis T and Conch T third. Top of the mile, 201 for Fez. Race two is now official. The uh, six four perfecter returning eighty one dollars forty cents eighty one forty. The daily double one six thirty six dollars and sixty cents thirty six sixty. Well, here is the official winner now. The first division third leg of Ohio sires for two year olds. Number six Wild Louie, a, a chestnut son of Ambro Iliad from Mighty Denise by Regal Pick, owned by John Hallman of Newark. Ebert Quinn trains Dean Collins in the sulky.
just off a qualifying win. Wild Louie recording his second lifetime win in record time. A solid effort tonight, 201 and a four fifths. Five, Elvis T2, Conch T3, Wild Louie the winner, Spirit of Choice 6.